Hello everybody on YouTube, this is Super Nintendo, and welcome back to another episode of Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Last time, we faced off, we faced off against the lovely Carmelita Fox in Two Mustango. And we also faced off against the villainous Dog Mugshot. <laughs> and let's just say, we left his dogs barking. <laughs> this time, I figured out a way to get us to hate. We're going to level three. The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess Mizuubi. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Sly Cooper in Vicious Voodoo. The Dread Swamp Path. So we all know the drill now. We got these mosquitoes here. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not the problem. This swamp is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from Mugshot's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Raccoon Railwalk? The roots and vines around here are perfect for that. All you gotta do is jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away. And where it's super slick from Mickey Slime and Moss, you'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it. I really like this move. It's kind of weird that, like, Sly couldn't figure something like this out already. Considering he can already, like, go on, uh... You know, on paths such as that. Already, crap. All right, you want to make sure to jump off at the end, otherwise you're going to fall to your doom. Now, yep. Okay, good. We have the water safety. Sometimes it doesn't work right. I think there's like a range, like you gotta be within a specific range in order for stuff to work right. Like the, the rail walk and rail slide. I think that's how that works, makes sense. I actually really do like spiders with the, uh, YOU SHALL NOT PASS! <laughs> Apparently, uh, the tree guy from Lord of the Rings is actually the, uh, is actually, FUCK! That was mine! Oh, fuck you, sir. Fuck you. Yeah, this is gonna get a lot more difficult. Starting here. You know, it is not the cool.
This is where the game really starts to ramp up in difficulty. Not only because it's somewhat difficult to see what you're doing, but also because the enemies become much more douchey. And you know me. We don't like douchey in my... Not in my dojo. You can die. Hey! What hurt me? Huh? Game, you are being douchey and I do not appreciate it. Yeah, this is where the one-hit kill thing of this game becomes kind of a dick. And it is not fun. We will be dying. We will be dying a lot. It's like we're playing Super Meat Boy or something. Die. Uh, hopefully this, this uh, recording session doesn't make me too angry, because my throat is all kinds of messed up right now. From, uh, from yesterday's recording session. Uh, of course. Alright, let's see. Uh, we can try the dive move, I guess. See if that works good on these guys. Nope! It just gets you killed! I'm taking this. I need it. For my vengeance. It's weird too, because when there's just one, there's n it's not that difficult to deal with. But when there's multiple of them, that's when it gets a little douchey. Whoa. 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 Alright, so we want to move when this guy foolishly looks up. And then, we can come up on murder. <laughs> That's Miss Ruby's lair. To get in, you'll need that key on top of a piggy pedestal in the guard compound. There's a bad mojo force field protecting it, so you'll have to destroy all five of the purple candles surrounding it. No problem. Don't get cocky or you'll end up with your head shrunk to the size of a pea. You've got to get past those voodoo guards, and I'm warning you, they're made and they work like a team. So do we, buddy. Okay, this is where having the mind becomes really useful. If you can actually hit anything with it. Uh, I always forget that the camera is inverted, and that bugs the crap out of me. Uh, in case you're wondering, no, there is not an option to invert the inversion. And it bugs the crap out of me. That's one of the that's one of my biggest pet peeves with like older games too, is like uh just that inversion of the camera. Uh where's the last guy? Best boy, where did you go? Uh, let's break all these clue bottles while we're here, I guess. There's the safe, but where is the last clue bottle? There we go. This isn't unlocked yet. Where is the last voodoo guy? Where'd he go? Did the game glitch on me? Oh, wait. Are we supposed to break all the candles or something? I forget if that's something we're supposed to do here. Like, 
This pa this place. Uh, oh, okay, there. All right, let's come over here and open up this real quick. If I did my math right, and I always do my math right, then the combination has got to be 588. Electrified! Kelly McCooper's notes on how to harness the electromagnetic field created by a rolling raccoon. Now your raccoon roll move will really pack a punch. Plus, it should give you a nice tingling sensation. Ew. I don't want to think about an electrifying sensation. Gross. Ah! Well, it's a good thing I have the, the notes on water safety. Get into here. My paranormal scanner is maxing out on that structure. A reading like that could only be coming off Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're right, Sly. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that skull temple. All right, let's make our way through the swamp. I can't freaking see. All right, this one looks about as good as any. And solo down the layer of the beast. Let's go. Industrial strike voodoo gate. Ms. Ruby must really be trying to keep something out. Or maybe she's trying to keep something in. Hmm. Well, this is supposed to deal with the beast, so. Belle? Where are you? I was sent by the city to find you. Only the only the highest quality jokes on Super Nintendo. <laughs> all right, we gonna jump over here and grab all these key bottles that are easily missable. Uh, can I, can I pop you? Yeah, they're gonna be douches and hide them on these uh, rails. Die, 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 die. This is usually one of the ones I have to backtrack for most of the time. And we can see the key. But can we seal the deep? I just noticed that those mosquito guys look like they're from Rayman. These walls are making me claustrophobic. Whoa! Oh, did you see those reeds move? There's something huge under there! You better get going! Hey! I did not appreciate that. We're down to 30 lives. Die. You 
guys are deuces! I will kill you with my cane! Butter toast! I just realized, like, when I do that voice, I sound a lot like Ed from Ed, Ed and Ed. Alright, is there any other ones? No, it doesn't look like it. There is some over here, though. This place kind of reminds me of the, uh... Of the Woodfall Temple from Majora's Mask. I don't know why. Ah! Asshole! Wait, up, 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 up. Get up there! And I saw that there was a clue bottle back over there. I want to see if I can head back and grab it. Haha! <laughs> I am Super Nintendo, the backtracking king! Alright, is there any other ones that I missed? Is that a clue bottle? Is that a I don't know if that's a clue bottle over there. That one. Alright, I'll see you guys back over where that uh, rail slide area was. Well, never mind. We're here. It's almost like this game is very, very well designed or something. There is a clue bottle over there and I... Ouch, keep bibbled. We still have the clue bottles? Yes, we do. Okay. Alright, this time with fear. Feeling of terror! Bottle senses are tingling, but I don't see any. Where could they be? I will probably see you again. And we missed a clue bottle, didn't we? Are you? Asshole! Uh, fine. <laughs> We're going back in, ladies and gentlemen. I will not be denied my safety goodness. You all can die. Because I murdered you. Aha! Uh, what the hell happened there? So, I guess that does kind of bring us up to, uh, one of the coolest things about the level design in this game is that it is very, very quick 
Um, the, the level design in this game is meant to look cool, is somewhat challenging, and is designed in such a way that you can speed run it if you are in such a speed running mode. Because the levels themselves are actually really damn quick. Like, they're like two, maybe three minutes a piece if you know what you're doing and you're not going after any of the clue bottles. Because you either don't care about them or you either have them all. Get me out of here! Bentley, there's a snake on my tail! Literally! And bigger. Press the circle to enter the vault code. I had to overcome some personal demons to get the answer to this one. Try four, four. <laughs> I find that one really funny, especially since there is a code later on that is 666 or 777 or something like that. Ah, a more modern entry. Bruce O'Coop's computer hacking technique. Using the data on this page, I should be able to tap the duty roster at each hideout and project guard information into your binoculum. Ah! Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, I think that will do it for this area. So, next time on Sly Cooper and the Thievius... Thievius Interruptions... We are going to... Go find the other two keys that we can find in this beginning area. Alright? See you guys then. I'm just gonna hang out here. Thank you.